Shalom, Lahabakarium, Shah Yasha'Allah, peace to the elect of Israel. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so called black, so called Hispanic, so called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners. Israelites who are scattered among all other nations, looking like the other nations. Shalom to all of you. All right, before we get started with this lesson, let's face the East and let's give the much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak Wadash, Koloim La, Abanawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's labor and works. And shalom to you, believers, to the Akim Wa Akwa. It should be your brothers and few modest sincere sisters who do subscribe to this group. Our Barats is out of lessons, edifying, playing upon the tables, straight to the point. I'm your brother Malkaya out here in Pasadena, Texas. Today's topic is pretty much going to go into the Civil War, pretty much. All right? The kingdom divided against itself cannot stand, right? So I'm gonna play three clips, uh, uh, three clips pretty much related to this topic. So I'm gonna have this one play and then play it real quick. Texas refuses to comply with Biden administration order on border crisis. Hey, a house being divided against itself, right? A kingdom being divided against itself, man. It's going to lead to civil war, man. More Republican governors deploy National Guard troops to Texas border. All right, we're going to play another one. Administration scored at least a temporary victory at the U.S. Supreme Court. The justice is ruling five to four that border agents can cut through razor wire that was installed by Texas officials. Conservative Justices Thomas, Alito, Gorsuch, and Kavanaugh were outnumbered in the ruling. Texas argues that it needs the razor wire because the federal government has failed to stop the flow of migrants. All right, let me get another one. Tsunami. So before we play this video, the guy you see in the back, it's like a navy blue jacket, gray shirt. Pay attention to what he's going to be saying over there. I mean, saying it in the video. Uh, and the brother put it on his uh, IG story. Dumb sleeper cells about to turn on real soon. A lot of these migrants are unmarked troops. And these migrants has been coming over, to, been coming over here. In great numbers for quite some years now, and a lot more now. And you simple as is like you simple as Americans think that America's not being invaded right now. And y'all gonna learn a hard way that these gonna be the very same people, these migrants that's gonna be torturing you niggas out here real soon. Men, women, children, young, old, they're gonna be torturing y'all. They're gonna be like psychos out here, especially you Israelites. Two thirds who refuse to get right, who refuse to repent to Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, about to get done up out here, man. All right. By the way, if you are smart enough, you will know who I am. But you are really not smart enough to know who I am. But soon you're gonna know who I am. Very easy. Wow, very easy. <laughs> the, the entitlement. The entitlement. No, believe me, I'm much better than that. The entitlement, guys. Wow. It's so it's by the way. You are smart enough, you will know who I am. But you are really not smart enough to know who I am. But soon you're gonna know who I am. Very easy. Wow, very easy. <laughs> the, the entitlement, the entitlement. Uh, no, believe me, I'm much better than that. The entitlement, guys. Wow. All right, so let's go into this word civil war right quick. 
civil war and the etymology battles among fellow citizens or within a community. All right, so there's going to be civil wars going on. Sedition among men, just wars upon wars among Americans within your community, on your block, in your suburban hood, in your suburban neighborhood, all right, everywhere, all right? America's going to be a war zone, especially out here in Texas. It's going to be a war zone out here, man. All right, and America itself is just going to be a big, you know, battlefield pretty much. All right. Um, so then when you go to the the website right here to get the common, you know, term for uh, meaning for civil war. A civil war is a war between organized groups within the same state. Think of Texas, for an example, the first video we uh, opened up with. A civil war is a war between organized groups within the same state. The aim of one side may, may be to take control of the country or a region. Right? And they shall not regard the kings or princes, and they shall take the courts and their own actions. Is paraphrasing. We're going to get that too in 2nd Edith, chapter 15. I'm the woman. The aim of one side may be to take control of the country or region, to achieve independence for a region, or to change government policies. All right. The book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 24 to 26, New Living Translation. And this is in red lettering originally. All right, matter of fact, let me get that so I can prove it. Prove all things, right? Red lettering, Yahweh Shai is speaking to Messiah, who people still fucking ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Um, the false Messiah. Uh, not, not Matthew, Mark, Salakia. Mark, chapter 3. Right, it's in red lettering, right? So Yahweh Shai is speaking here, so-called, you no, know, the, the people who call fucking Jesus Christo, right? Is Yahweh Shai? He saved, he delivers the true Messiah. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand, right? Think of civil war here. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Think of a, a actual. A household of a family The husband The wife And the children And everybody's just, everybody just going against each other Everybody's against the father Nobody is trying to you know be on his program On his side Right There's arguing There's differences So that family is going to shatter It's going to break We'll look at America as like a family The people is going against You know Their kings and princes They're going against the government all right. And if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. New Living Translation, a kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. So a kingdom divided by civil war, a kingdom divided by a war between organized groups within the same state will collapse. A kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. Similarly, a family splintered by fueling will fall apart. And if Satan is divided and fight against himself, how can he stand? He will never survive. So yeah, civil war is coming to this place, man. Alright. Civil war is coming to this place. So let's get a book of Isaiah very quick. Uh, Isaiah... Try to make this lesson short, straight to the point. 19, 2. All right, so the book of Yashaya, Yashaya, also known as Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 2, in the KJV. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city. And kingdom against kingdom. So the breakdown here, right? Egyptians against the Egyptians. American against American. 
All right, Edomites going against other Edomites, right? So-called white people, so-called Caucasians going against each other, men, women, children, young, old. All right, two-thirds that's here, you know, they're pretty much an American, right? Because they, they refuse to come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? All right? They're going to they're gonna be going against each other too. So, you know, Americans against each other pretty much. Okay? All right? This gives in the GNT so you can see for yourself as you say Civil War. The book of Isaiah, Yeshaya, uh, chapter 19, verse 2. Oh shit, my bad. Um, two. So the good news translation for Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. The Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai says, I will stir up civil war in Egypt, America today, and turn brother against brother and neighbor against neighbor. Civil war here, man. People going people going against each other. Even even family members, brothers, neighbor, neighbors, loved ones. So-called day ones. Viral cities will fight each other. And viral kings will struggle for power. Viral cities will fight each other. And viral kings will struggle for power. Civil war. A civil war is a war between organized groups within the same state. The aim of one side may be to take control of the country or region, people are you no know, struggling for power. They trying to gain control, to achieve independence for a region, or to change government policies. The Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai says, "I will stir up civil war in Egypt, aka America, and turn brother against brother and neighbor against neighbor. Viral cities will fight each other, and viral kings will struggle for power." This is prophecies. All right, this is this will come to pass in this lifetime. This generation, this lifetime, right? Um, let's see. Uh, let me get that right quick. Uh, let me get straight to the point. Let me get the NOT instead. About these sleeper cells, all right? You know the uh, that that guy said how uh, you gonna know who I am. Real soon, something along that line. Yeah, you gonna know who 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 they are when they when they when they cut your ass up, torturing your ass, man. You proud as Americans, two thirds that's here. Um, let's see, Ezekiel twenty three, um, twenty three to twenty six. New Living Translation. All right, so the book of Yahazak Allah, Yahazak Allah, right? Ezekiel chapter 23, verses 23 to 26 in the NLT, New Living Translation. For the Babylonians will come with all the Chaldeans from Pekot and Shaul and Kol, and all the Assyrians will come with them, handsome young captains, so like strong fighting aged men. And I know you heard at some point within these news articles, news reports, when a lot of these men were, were being recorded, what, how would they were described? Fighting aged men, right? Handsome young captains, young captains, commanders, chariot officers, and, high, and other high ranking officers, all riding their horses. They will all come against you. These sleeper cell aids, all these migrants that's, that they're just coming through here like a wave, like a river, are going to come against you, proud as, dumb as uh, Americans that just can't accept the fact that this nation, this place is getting invaded, it's about to be destroyed. Edomites that's here. Two thirds that's here. Everyone else that's here. They will all come against you. Especially you damn hard head ass Israelites that have been scoffing and mocking men, women, children, young, old. They will they will all come against you from the north with chariots, wagons, 
and a great army prepare for attack. They will take up positions on every side. These migrants are being scattered all throughout America. California was in Nevada, New Mexico, down to Texas, New Florida, all the way up to, you know, more on the East Coast, New York, New Jersey, all around, man. Um, they will take up positions on every side, surrounding you with men armed with shields and helmets. You know, think of, you know, military tactical gear. You know, helmet, bulletproof vest, knee pads, you know, firearms and etc. Grenades and who knows, man. What they... And I will hand you over to them. Two thirds, for an example. Hand you, Yahweh Bashman Shah is going to hand you hard as Israelites over to these sleeper cell agents, to these gurgle troops, these folding troops. And I will hand you over to them for punishment so they can do with you as they please. I will turn my jealous anger against you and they will deal harshly with you. They will cut off your nose and ears and any survivors will then be slaughtered by the sword. Think of the gun. Think of, you know, these, these torching methods they be doing, all right, on these you no know, black websites, you know, how they be just torturing you know, men, women, children, just cutting necks open when they're alive. Shooting them many times, just empty out a whole magazine on them. And just, just, just cutting your ass up, man. Torturing you. Because that's how Bashmi was shy, expressing his anger towards you hard-headed as Israelites, man. You fucking hair wrap demons. Your daughters ass niggas at these other camps. Causing these women to go astray. Judgment must begin within the house of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Just paraphrasing. All right. Down to your average Jake who just, just still a Ray Ray and Pookie, scoffing the mock and talking shit. I will turn my jealous anger against you and they will deal harshly with you. They will cut off your nose and ears. And any survivors will then be slaughtered by the sword. Your children will be taken away as captives. And anything that is left will be burned. They will strip you of your beautiful clothes and jewels. Yeah, these these gurgle troops, these these migrants, these sleeper cell agents about to go mayhem on you damn Israelites who refuse to get right. Alright? And that's your Haobash Miyosha expressing that wrath, that anger he has towards you, uh, Israelites who refuse to fear him, to reverence him, to obey him. Alright? Let me get this last one right quick. Um, uh, 13 and 16, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let me get the KJV first. So the book of Yeshaya, also known as Isaiah chapter 13, verse 16, and the KJV, their children shall also be dashed to pieces. Before their eyes. You Israelites who got children. You all about your family. You put your family before the Lord. And you got children. Don't be surprised when you start seeing your children getting tortured. Before your eyes. By these damn gurgle troops. These foreign troops. These migrants. These sleeper cell agents. Their houses shall be spoiled. And their wives ravished. A lot of you Israelites who got uh, a wife. You about to witness her getting fucking gang raped violently before your eyes, man. And you're just like women that don't want to get right, right? You about to get fucking raped to death out here, man. All right? Since you don't want to get right. The NLT version, their little children shall be dashed to death before their eyes. Their homes will be sacked and their wives will be raped. So yeah, the Bible goes into this. A lot of women about to be raped out here, you emotional ass niggas, man. Alright? The Lord is about to bring great judgment to this place. No respects of persons. The GNT, they will look on helplessly 
their babies will be battered to death, right? Battered, right? Injured by repeated blows or punishment. Similar terms, beaten, assaulted, thrashed, hit, okay? So a lot of you Israelites that got children and you didn't want to uh, repent, you about to witness your, 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 your little babies, your little gremlins being beaten to death, assaulted to, to death, thrashed to death, cut up, tortured. All right? Before your eyes, their houses shall be looted while your house is getting ransacked. You're being robbed of everything that that's, that, that's in there. Whatever they cons these gurgle troops consider to be a resource to them. Food, water, medicine. Even your wife can be considered a uh, uh, spoil you. And what, and, and what they're going to be doing to her and their wives will be raped. All right. Because you refuse to get right. So, yeah, a lot of you is like about to get raped out here. All right. Even for if, uh, Israelites dealing with a, a heathen woman. Hey, she going to get she going to get ravished out here, too. All right. Let's see. Let's go get the NLT right quick. Um, you gonna get lamentations very quick. Lamentation chapter five verse eleven. All right. So the uh the book of Kwayana, right? Lamentations chapter five verse eleven. New Living Translation. Our enemies. So for an example. Uh, the enemies of the elect. So think of, you know, these gurgle troops, foreigner troops, sleeper, sleep, sleeper cells, these migrants coming over here, Edomites, even two-thirds. Our enemies raped the women in Jerusalem. Sorry, so think of Northern Kingdom women, so-called Hispanic women, right? So-called Native American Indian women, right? And the young girls in all the towns of Judah, Southern Kingdom women. So there's about to be a lot of Israelite women getting raped out here, especially here in America, all right? You 304s, you women that likes to have only fan contests, you like to entice a lot of men, you like to be very provocative, promiscuous, teasing men, having your ass just, 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 no, just being shown 24-7 pretty much all over the internet and in public, you got your titties all out, your skin showing, I hope, I hope, I hope, these be the same women who Yahweh is going to allow you bitches get fucking raped out here, man. So you can learn the hard way. All right? She that's my enemy shall see it. And shame shall cover her. Well, man, but let me get that right quick. Let me get that right quick. All right. Micah chapter, um... I think it's 7 to 10. All right, yeah. Micah chapter 7, verse 10, KJV. Then she that is my enemy shall see. So America, that fucking whore, the red dress, is going to see that she is an enemy unto you. How about me? I was shy. And all you women that comes in the same vibration as America, the fucking whore. You're just like women refuse to repent from, from the ways of the whore. The woman in the red dress, America. About to see that you created a lot of enemies just like America. America created a lot of enemies. And a lot of you Israelite women don't realize you created a lot of enemies and you pushed away your only fucking protection. That's the Israelite man. That's why a lot of you Israelite women about to be left alone out here. You're going to fucking die alone. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. The so called black woman was well, America first, right? The black woman's going to see it. The Hispanic woman's going to see it. The Native American Indian woman's going to see it. A great number of y'all. That you are an enemy of Yahweh Bashmi Shah. He's going to express that anger through his men. Men in general. Then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her. Which said unto me. Right over here scoffing and mocking, talking shit, right? Where is the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shah, thy God? My eyes shall behold her. Now sh shall she be trodden down as a mire of the streets. So America's about to get trodden down as a mire of the streets by these damn missiles, these nukes, by that thermonuclear fire. And you women's going to come in that same vibration pretty much. 
You won't get trod down the minor streets by you no know, horrific judgments, being raped to death, being literally beaten to death. All right, being stomped, being hit with bats, being you know strapped up to poles, and he's having a fucking piñata with your ass, man. All right, for all the wickedness you have done. Okay, talking shit, scoffing and mocking, refuse to get an order. All right. And a lot of that's going to be happening during these civil wars, man. When all, when all hell break loose, you got a civil war going on, you're going to have a lot of, you know, raping going on too, ravishing going on upon you, upon a lot of you women here, man. All right? So, yes, yeah, civil war will come to this place at some point at this appointed time. All right? And Lord, Lord willing, Albert Ross is, uh, is tonight. All right? Because we wish it was yesterday. All right? <laughs> I'm out as soon as we think, man, so we can you know, move on to the next phase. Lord Yahweh Shai comes back and we get the hell up out of this place and witness America being fucking destroyed, man. And everything is finally back in order when Yahweh Shai comes back. All right, so I'm out the lesson was edifying. Hopefully, you learned something. All right, let's close out by giving a much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's labor and works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim, La Aqua, which would be you brothers and few of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. All right. Kwam Yasha'Allah. DTA, a Baba Ba soon. Kwam Yasha'Allah.